Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Jennifer Gross Show, brought to you courtesy of Edwala. I am here with head coach Jennifer Gross. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, first off, I want to discuss last Saturday's win against Cal Poly. I got to interview Celia Marfone after the game. She posted a career high of 18 points. I mean, she really came out shooting. And uh, she said that this was a must win, that the team absolutely needed it. How important do you think this win was for the team at this point in the heart of conference play? You know, um, every win at this point is a, is a big one. Obviously, um, the, the game against Cal Poly was huge for us. Um, we beat a really quality opponent, and it was the last game of a home stretch for us. So we really felt like, um, you know, we wanted to protect that home court. Uh, we did a great job. I thought we came out from start to finish with tremendous energy. Uh, we got contributions from uh, a number of people, as you mentioned, Celia, um, with, you know, we felt that all year Celia Marfone could really be a key scorer for us. She just has a way of uh, putting the ball in the basket, and it was nice to see her gain some confidence, and I'm hoping that that can uh, carry over to this week as well. All right. Now, last time the UC Davis Aggies faced the Rainbow Wahine, they were very much in it going into halftime. I mean, they played a, a great first half. And then second half, they, they struggled with shooting while University of Hawaii had one of their best shooting, best shooting games of the season. What do you expect your team to be doing differently in order to make sure that they can bring it for all 40 minutes? Well, you know, we have to... Uh we have to to set the tone defensively. Um, you know, this is a we're a team that when we bring pressure, uh, when re we really get after it defensively, we're we, you know we see the results. We're having success in those games, and so for us, that's been a focus for us is just really trying to key on a, a couple of their shooters, um, make sure that we're uh, keeping the ball out of the the center of the paint, which is where they do a lot of their damage. Um, and, and really just try to uh, force some turnovers that can create some offense for us as well. So um, we know we need to come out and we need to really set the tone and uh, get after it defensively. Uh, we also know that this is a team that um, you know, does a nice job on the offensive board, so we're prepared with all 10 of our players that are, uh, that are suiting up to really work hard together to, to get it done on the boards tonight. Yeah, now that, that tough defense that you talked about is what has brought the Aggies to be first in the Big West and nationally ranked in steals. Now, lastly, I want to discuss the success of Sydney Phipps. Looking back at her last game against Hawaii, she, she dropped a then career high of 26 points. She's gone on to score 29. I believe she scored 26 a second time. Uh, she's en route to having one of the best scoring performances in, in school history, actually. And could you uh, share some of your thoughts about her success so far just as a sophomore? Uh, well, Sydney's been incredible for us. You know, she, um, her consistency is what uh, is so impressive uh, for such a young player. She has a mindset where she just completely believes in herself, and she knows day in and day out she can put some points on the board. Um, but what I love about her is the fact that she's, um, she's hungry to improve. You know, she's very coachable. Uh, she watches film with the coaching staff, and right after we get done watching, she's implementing in into her game, and she's seen results from that. So... Um, you know, and then she she has the potential to be one of our best defenders and rebounders as well. So she's extremely competitive. Um, she really uh, sets the tone for us with her energy. Um, and you know, I couldn't be more thrilled one that she's in our program, and two that we have her for another two years. So um, I've been really happy with her solid performance, and uh, you know, I'm excited to see her her finish out the year strong. As always, it's been a pleasure, Coach, and good luck tonight. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more pregame after this on 90.3 FM, KDVS.